Let's talk proper styling techniques to ensure that your hair can hold a curl and also that you don't have any crimps or creases in your hair. The first things first is you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry before you start heat styling with a curling iron. If you have any freestanding moisture in there, it's not going to work for you. Second thing, you want to make sure you're using the right heat setting for your hair type. It may be surprising to hear, but if you're using too much heat, it can actually cause the cuticle on your hair to slam shut and flatten and your hair will not be able to hold any sort of bend. You also want to make sure you're not applying too much liquid product. Generally with liquid product, less is more. So apply just a little to start and add more as you need. Now, if you feel like you're doing everything right and your hair just still doesn't quite want to hold a curl, we recommend using a smaller sized barrel. Remember the smaller sized barrel of your curling iron, the tighter and more defined the curl is going to be. And the larger the barrel, the more voluminous and body you're going to get and less curl definition. Now let's go ahead and create the perfect curl together using the T3 single pass curl, one and a quarter inch curling iron. First thing is first, we want to section. So I like to grab a section that's about one to two inches. The secret here is that when you grab your section, you want every strand of hair of that section to come in contact with the barrel of your curling iron. That's going to give you all the benefits of the heat and the tension of the curling iron to really style effectively. So if your hair is thicker or thinner or coarser or finer, you might deviate a little bit from this one to two inch recommendation, but it's a great starting point. Now, when you are getting ready to curl, a little pro tip is if you want to curl away from your face, start with the curling iron clip facing the mirror. And no matter what side you're curling, you're going to be curling away from your face. If you want to curl towards your face, start with that curling iron clip facing you. And again, it doesn't matter which side you're curling, that curl is going to go towards your face. I'm going to create this curl away from my face. So I'm going to start with the clip facing the mirror. I'll place my hair in and I'm letting the clip guide the direction. So this is how I want to flow. Notice I'm not applying too much pressure on the clip and I'm being very gentle as I move my hair through the iron. If you apply too much pressure with the clip or if you turn the hair the wrong way while it's clipped, that's when we start to get those crimps and creases. And another pro tip, hair is like a wax. So while it's hot or warm, it's still malleable. If you're having problems with your curls falling or you want that curl to really be set, just cup it like this until it completely cools and you will have created the perfect shiny bouncy curl.